Good morning, welcome to another day at the farm. Uh, today we are actually going out to see uh, on a project that we hope to launch this year. And uh, yeah, let's just tag along. We have to see if it's possible for our little project to get some um, support. So let's find the dog and, and go. You can see all the forest here is quite young. Which may indicate, which is a good thing, which means that it's probably been grassing sheep here before. The problem is that we have a map that says that in 1979 it was also a forest or woods. Uh, but we know that in between and before. Come! It also been used as. Where is it? It's also been used as um, uh, grassing grounds for, for the sheep. I'm just taking notes of the old fence and the positions and then we'll see what we can do. So I understand that I haven't really explained how this um, support for this project works so I will do my best to try to explain. The thing is producing sheep in Norway is not really beneficial at all when it comes to uh, the financial part. Roughly I will say around six, seven thousand uh, euros after working for a whole year. So the truth is that we actually spend more money on buying um, fuel, buying uh, concentrated animal feed and fertilizer and so forth. So we spend around uh, 10,000, probably a little bit more, just on that. And then we also have all the expenses for um, controls for the yeah, fire, um, alarm system and so forth so we actually spend more have money than we would earn but uh, when it comes to sheep it's it's a very unique and good um, um, animal for uh, both for creating biodiversity for holding forest away to use it for grassing and also for to keep the cultural landscape and therefore the government has decided to support all farmers and there are different kinds of supports and there is at least two important uh, applications so one is for for um, for what you are producing and it has a deadline now in March and the same goes for this project which is more uh, local cultural so you actually get uh, a, a subsidy f for this and that is great and you can get subsidy for a lot of different things and many of the things goes from environmental causes like for fertilizing when you have the natural fertilizing to make sure that you don't lose all the uh, minerals and, and so forth that you need that you want to have back in the earth and not up in the air um, you can also get support for uh, 
maintaining old um, traditional um, yeah, techniques for example making uh, uh, getting the the water out of the making drains getting the water out you have traditional ways of doing that with stones for example here in this part we have also a very good tradition for for stone fences which is beautiful and we have a lot of it here at the farm as well so you can get support for taking care of that and you can also get support for um, creating fences on old cultural landscapes or old cultural marks where and where, where the sheep has been grazing before. And that's what we want to do and um, hopefully we'll get it. So that's why this is important to go around, make notes, draw it into the map and, and deliver the application for this uh, subsidy. And hopefully the local government thinks this is a great idea. And the good thing is that uh, they prioritize uh, new farmers like us so fingers crossed that it will go fine.